the total cost is equals total fixed cost plus total variable cost okay and i further elaborated this total variable cost total cost equals total fixed cost plus variable cost per unit into number of units number of units okay i would like to replace these values or replace these whatever the fixed cost variable cost using some english letters instead of total cost i am going to use the letter y instead of fixed cost i am going to use the letter e instead of variable cost per unit i am going to use the letter b instead of number of units i am going to use the letter x so simply using this formula we can find out the total cost which is the y value if you have some number of units which is the x value then if your number of units are 1000 units what will be your total cost so same logic can be applied if you have any kind of activity level so here as my x value i have taken the example number of units your x value can be number of labor hours your x value can be number of machine hours it can be anything sometimes we can do forecasting okay if your temperature is some x amount how much will be your sales so using this formula we are going to do some forecasting then what you have to understand in this formula a is the fixed part a is the fixed part b is the variable value per one activity level x is the number of units or number of machine hours whatever the activity level is the x so simply using this formula what we are going to find is if you have some x amount what will be your y amount if you have some x amount if you have some x amount what will be your y amount that's what we are going to find then out of that a is the fixed part b is the variable part variable element per activity level. so for you all to get a better understanding of this particular thing let's do a small example now here i have given you some details what are the information that i have given to you i have given you the temperature and the ice cream sales if the temperature is 20 the ice cream sale is 250 if the temperature is 25 ice cream sale is 300 if the temperature is 30 ice cream sale is 340 if the temperature is 35 ice cream sale is 370 then i am asking you a question in this particular example if the temperature is if the temperature is 32 what will be the what will be the ice cream sale what will be the ice cream sale i am asking you to do a forecasting i am asking you to do a prediction if the temperature is 32 what will be the ice cream sale so in order to do that forecasting what method are we going to use we are going to use the regression method then under regression method how you can do the forecasting as i said you y equals a plus bx then when you are doing a calculation using the regression method there are certain steps that you have to follow what are the steps that you have to follow now you got to be very focused with the focus listen my explanation you will be able to understand perfectly okay when you are given with two variables first of all you should identify what is dependent variable and what is independent variable is i am asking you a question 
normally ice cream sales changes based on the temperature or the temperature will change based on the number of units that you are selling or based on the sales that you are generating normally ice cream sales will change based on the temperature then ice cream sale is depending on what ice cream sale is depending on the temperature then if you take ice cream sales ice cream sale is the dependent variable temperature is the independent variable then first of all what you should understand out of the two variables that you are given with you have to identify what is your dependent variable what is your independent variable now let me take another example the number of units and the total cost normally your total cost will change based on the number of units changes no? then total cost is depending on the number of units then the total cost is the dependent variable number of units is independent variable let me take another example the sales revenue and the marketing expenditure if you do more marketing you will get more sales if you do more marketing if you spend more for marketing you can get more sales then sales is depending on what the sales are depending on the marketing then sale is the dependent variable marketing is the independent variable then under regression method when you are given with a question as the first thing what you have to do you have to identify what is the dependent variable what is the independent variable now in this particular example that i have given to you what is the dependent variable ice cream sales will change based on the temperature so ice cream sale is the dependent variable and the next step what you have to do is for the dependent variable assign the letter y so the dependent variable we are assigning the letter y for the independent variable assign the letter x for the independent variable assign the letter x so i am doing it very slowly where you can understand it easily then in this question what they are telling if the temperature is 32 if your x is 32 how much will be your ice cream sales how much will be your y if the x is 32 if this x is 32 if this x is 32 how much will be your y how much will be your sales then in order for us to find out that one we should know two things what are the two things that we should know if your temperature is 32 if your x is 32 how much is your y so for us to find out that we should know the value for a we should know the value for b then under regression method how to find the value for a and how to find the value for b so there is a formula that you can use these formulas are given in your exam so to find the b the formula is given in your exam this is the formula that you have to use to find the a this is the formula that you have to use then first step what we have to do identify the dependent variable independent variable for the dependent variable assign the letter y for the independent variable assign the letter x after you assign the letters next what you should do you have to find out the value for a and value for b so here we have to start the calculation with the value for b because to find the value for a you need the b value also here yes. you need the b value also So first of all, you have to find the value for b. Then only we can find the value for a. Then let's start to do the calculation. Let's start to do the calculation. Okay. Here, first one is what n. N means how many pairs are there? How many number pairs are there? So as of now, how many number pairs are there? X twenty, y two fifty. That is one coordinate. 
x25 y300 another coordinate x30 y340 another coordinate x35 y370 another coordinate so how many pairs are there four pairs are there four into what is this what is that sign it is sigma the sum sum of x into y so listen my explanation carefully you have to find out the sum of x into y then first of all we have to find out what's the value of x into y so let's find out that x into x into y value first of all we have to find out that then only we can take the sum okay 20 into 250 250 into 20 this 5000 here 25 into 300 7500 30 into 340 10,200 35 into 370 12,950 12,950 x into y x into y x into y x into y so we have the value of x into y now let's take the sigma the sum of x y sum of x into y then let's take the total 5000 plus 7500 plus 10200 plus 12950 i'm getting 35650 35650 then here sigma xy is how much 35650 minus sigma x into sigma y so let's take the sigma x addition of x column how much is that 20 plus 25 plus 30 plus 35 i am getting a value of 110 then what is this this is your sigma x how much is that 110 into so i'll put a small bracket to make our calculation easy next i have to take the sigma y so let's take the sigma of y column 250 plus 300 plus 340 plus 370 then i am getting a value of 1260 1260 1260 so that is done then your denominator again n n means what how many pairs there are four pairs sigma of x square so understand x square you have to take first then you have to take the sigma then let's take the x square values first x square values 20 squared value how much is that 20 squared value it is 400 25 squared value 25 squared value 625 next one 30 squared 900 35 squared 1 2 2 5 then here we took the square of each and every x now let's take the sigma of x square column this is x square column sigma the addition then 400 plus 625 plus 900 plus 1225 then i am getting 3150 so 4 into 3150 okay minus what is this sigma x total value is there this total value here see sigma x sigma x that total value square hundred and tens square then let's take the final b value when you are entering the values in the calculator don't make casting errors type it properly open brackets 4 into 35650 close the brackets minus open brackets 110 
into 1260 divided from again open brackets 4 into 3150 minus here 110 squared 110 squared close the brackets then how much is the b value that we are getting we are getting a b value of 8 so we found the b value we found the b value in this y equals a plus bx formula we found the b value b value is how much 8 okay now let's find the a value sigma y sigma y is how much here see 1260 divided by number of pairs 4 minus b into b we found it 8 into sigma x how much is that 110 divided by number of pairs 4 then here what's the final a value that we are getting 1260 divided by 4 minus don't make casting errors 8 into 110 divided by 4 then how much is the a value that we are getting we are getting a a value of 95 then we found the a value as well 95 plus 8x so this is our formula for this particular example our regression formula is how much y equals 95 plus 8x then here in this question what i am asking if the temperature is 32 what will be your ice cream sales then y equals 95 plus 8x if x is 32 how much will be your y because y is the sales then 95 plus 8 into 32 if the temperature is 32 what will be your ice cream sales then here what's the answer that we are getting 8 into 32 plus 95 i am getting a value of 351 dollars then if your temperature is 32 how much will be your ice cream sales 351 dollars you can get the all the values that you need which is the a value which is the b value everything can be obtained within few seconds using the calculator for different different calculators you can use different different steps okay we can't say for all the calculators the steps will be same i have done like uh, three videos okay to cover the steps of scientific calculator to get the answers for a b so you can watch whatever the video which is relevant for the calculator that you have i hope you got a clear understanding i have done a video series for the subject management accounting in acca you can purchase that particular subject through the link available in the description in that particular video series i have done the entire syllabus and i have practiced certain questions and i have given you certain tips to pass the subject management accounting in one book